So today, we're going to talk about the new rep system on NBA 2K21 Next Gen. We got the trailer yesterday, which everybody was excited. We still got more news coming out, um, which is probably going to be more probably my career news or something like that. So um, before we get into it, man, go ahead and drop, drop a like. Drop a sub, subscribe, uh, turn post notifications on if you haven't already, man. So, with this new system, okay, so on current gen, you see we have we still have three tiers to each system, which is you know, rookie one to rookie three, all star one to all star three, with pro one to pro three, superstar three, superstar one, superstar three, elite one to elite three, then legend. Okay, on the new system, we have five tiers. It's, it'd be rookie one to rookie five, pro one to pro five, all star one to all star five, superstar one to superstar five, and uh, elite one to elite five. Now, with that being said, um, on e each tier, you only get one rep reward. And um, it's, uh, the reason why for that is because they're basically the same rep rewards, they just spread them out over each tier. So instead, so you know, in 2K21 on the current gen, for I think Superstar One, for Superstar Two, you get gym rat badge and you get a the park badge, nothing easy or park handles or something like that. That's no longer. Uh, you will get um, I think Superstar One, you be able to take your shirt off. Superstar Two, you may get gym rat. Superstar Three, you may get you know you may get be able to unlock this type of vehicle or this type of uh, accessory, which could be like a hoverboard. Uh, to where it, it rolls on the ground. I forgot what them things are called. You know, the hoverboard that you stand up on. And our Superstar 4, you know, so stuff like that. So that's how this new rep system has been implemented. Now, what I will say is that the, uh, the, this, the, the good thing about next gen is, of course, the city. It's a whole new type of game and, and stuff of that nature. Yes, they promoted it. They was building it from the ground up, which you you can honestly see that they really remapped everything, rebuilt everything, put thought into it. But once again, they didn't put thought into rep rewards. You know, what I mean, uh, I, me personally, I would have liked to seen different type rep rewards. Now, I'm all for getting one rep reward as you. Um, I'm all for getting one rep reward as you uh, move up the tiers. But I'm not for the repetitive rep rewards that were in current gen. But um, I knew that there was going to be something uh, that 2K really wasn't going to fix, um, and it was it was basically the rep rewards. Now I will say that if you thought that the rep system may have been, well I, I say it like this: if you thought that the rep system was hard, it's really going to be hard, especially moving up to five tiers. Um, but what I can say it, it, it almost takes us back to. Um, for if you're a new user and you just started playing the game, and you start playing 2K or 2K19 or 18 or, or 20, um, you didn't get to experience the the rep, the rep system with five tiers like 2K17. I don't think 2K, I don't even think 2K16 had. I don't think 2K16. Yeah, 2K16 may have had it too. They may have had the five tiers, but if you play 2K17, basically the rep system is almost going to be similar to that. Uh, I think 2K17, you have five tiers or four tiers to move up. So, but what I will say, nobody, nobody knows um, the end. Nobody knows once you hit legend, which what you get. You know what I'm saying? Or if it stop, or, or if it just stops at elite five. So, but that is the new system. Um, same rewards, new system. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like I said, me personally, I I feel as if. The reward, I, I feel as if you should get a lot of the rewards sooner, and then once you start to hit the elite, or once you start to hit kind of like the uh, superstar threes and fours and stuff like that, you should get more, you should get rewards that they didn't even have in, on current gen. So, I mean, this has this right here has been like, um, this has been like a, a, a defect in like 2k for a minute, like coming up with ideas to give people. Um, will get coming up with ideas for rewards to get people now. Uh, the, the mayor things, the mayor things, cool. Um, but I feel like with the rep, the rep rewards in general, I feel like man, the higher rep you get, man, the the more you should be able to pick and choose. Uh, they should have the option for you to pick and choose. 
Like, I mean, okay, going going through the rookie bars really isn't anything. Going through the pro bars is not going to be anything. The all-star bars may take a little bit if you're, you know, if you got other things to do outside of video game. Um, superstar bars, you know, they're not going to be that bad, really. The elite bars is really what's going to get a lot of people. So I feel like if you're repping up that high, then you, you should be able to... Um, choose what you want between so many different items you know so um and another thing i'm thinking the same is going to be the same system to where you have to throw lobs because they're they're just piggybacking off of current gen it's just it's basically an updated it's basically an updated version of nba 2k21 on current gen it's a way better updated version i say that with a lot more added features and features as far as how the stores like the store layout um Probably the new, there's probably gonna be a couple new events, but yes, similar, but still the same events. But for the most part, um, I'll be personally, I feel like you should, I feel like a superstar, I feel like a superstar too, um, because I know they're gonna give you the option, maybe Elite One to or, or Elite Two to create your own shirt, and then Elite Three, it may be, um, Elite Three could be mascots, or Elite Four could be special arrival. And then Elite 5 can be uh, new bash points, stuff like that. Well, more bash points. Now, I don't know how many they're going to actually give out. We'll know soon um, because, of course, they're, they're going to drop They're going to drop a trailer or they're going to drop something with information about it. We'll know soon. But for the most part, we're looking at the same rep rewards uh, we did previously. Um, and we're going to and we're gonna basically be looking at the same rep system. Um, it's just more tier, man, you know, so... If you if you're trying to grind the legend, which I know a lot of people is gonna be grinding the legend, um, you know that, that that's what you're that's what you're in store for. So make sure when you create your build, make sure you make a build that can either throw oops or catch oops or 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 you figure out a build that you 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 know how to get the most rep out of that build in that position, man. Uh, I know that's what I'm gonna be doing whenever I get my hands on a P5. I'm not gonna be playing P5 launch day. I may order online on launch day. I may be a couple weeks behind. But I will get the P5 and be able to drop content on the P5 for you guys. Um, once again, shout out to Ron Jesus for the information. Everybody knows who Ron Jesus is at this point. Uh, if you don't, just type, type, type in Ron Jesus at YouTube.com and you, well, YouTube, uh, YouTube and, you'll, and you'll come across his channel. And with that being said, y'all, I'm out and be on the lookout for the next video.